What's up, Mind Pump TV fans? Welcome back. I'm your host, Danny Matranga. Today, we're going to talk about some strategies and tools you can implement to help set you up for success with your fat loss and weight loss goals. Without further ado, let's dive into them. Now, before I give you guys these tips, I want to make sure you get your hands on our free fat loss resources, okay? I'm going to make sure the link is in the description down below, but it's going to take you to our various fat loss guides. We've got several of them available for you to download, loaded with free actionable content that's going to help you achieve your goals. So once you downloaded the guide, before we dive into the tips and tricks, I have to remind you. A calorie deficit is the singular most important piece of any fat loss diet. Now, behaviors and structure is vital to supporting and keeping you in that calorie deficit. However, if you're not making an effort to stay within a range of calories that will have you and your specific body in a deficit, you are going to struggle. Now, for most people, it's very simple to find out what that deficit may be. It's usually a calorie range where you're losing body fat, or body weight, but those things are subject to change. So be sure to find a proper calorie range before you get going on any fat loss diet. So the first thing I have all my clients do if their goal is to lose body fat or lose weight, I like them to take a majority of the processed prepackaged foods out of their house. Now, these foods in and of themselves are not inherently fattening, okay? There's nothing wrong with them. They don't cause fat gain any faster than the calories found in quote unquote healthier foods. The one thing though, these hyper palatable, hyper processed foods do have in common though, is they're very easy to overeat and they're already pre-prepared. So they're ready to go. So if you come home and you're hungry and you're in a pinch and you start eating them, people often struggle to stop. So I do like clients who I'm working with specifically for fat loss to clear as much of those out as possible and maybe keep on hand those that they still enjoy, but find it easier to control their consumption of. The second big thing I tell all my clients to do if the goal is fat loss, pre-prepare food, specifically protein and vegetables. So I often have my clients pre-prepare some type of chicken dish, some type of steak or red meat dish, and even fish if they're able to find a way to keep it fresh in the fridge. I'll recommend my clients pre-prepare their protein on Sunday at the end of the week and preferably on Wednesday at the middle point of the week and then eat their way through that pre-prepared protein throughout the week, whether it's in meal prep that they take with them to work or a large Tupperware that they keep in the fridge. The ability to have quick, lean, low-calorie proteins around to not only keep you satiated but also to spare muscle while dieting cannot be overstated. It's an incredibly valuable tool and it pairs nicely with my second tip, which is to do the same thing with vegetables. Now, I always recommend some type of squash, zucchini, broccoli, and asparagus. I find those are very enjoyable vegetables to eat. They're high volume, so they fill you up quick. They're nutritious and they're low in calories. And if you have, say, a Tupperware of chicken, steak, fish, and several Tupperwares of various vegetables, you're only ever one minute away from grabbing a plate, tossing a handful of each on that, warming it up in the microwave, and having a pretty serviceable, low-calorie, high-nutrition meal. So just getting ahead with your food prep can be massively valuable. Another thing I have all my clients do is keep one of those large containers of organic mixed greens around because it's nice to be able to toss together a salad. And again, vegetables being incredibly nutritious and very low in calories, they make for a great side dish, if not even a main course, if you're trying to put together a low calorie, high nutrient dense meal for your fat loss goals. Another thing, carry around a large bottle of water. I recommend glass or metal if you're gonna be refilling this bottle because you don't wanna overfill plastic containers because they can leach some potentially detrimental chemicals, especially if you're leaving them in hot cars or in direct sunlight. So opting for a metal or glass container that you can regularly refill with water so you're staying adequately hydrated will help with satiety. Oftentimes the hunger signals that we feel can be satiated with a little bit of water and that will keep us on track and prevent us from having any uh, 
negatively uh, impactful eating binges or snacks along the way. So staying hydrated is incredibly valuable. The last tip I have for you guys are to remember these two types of foods. We want to be focusing on high volume and high satiety foods. Now, what I mean by high volume are foods that when you eat them, they actually fill your stomach. So protein and vegetables are a great example. Potatoes are another great example of something that you can eat that has a high volume effect. High volume foods are often full of fiber and they just sit well and fill the stomach. An example of a really low volume, uh, calorie dense food would be something like juice. Okay, it's very low volume. You pound that back. It goes right through you very quickly. You digest and absorb those calories. Whereas opposed to fruit, is a high volume food. It's perhaps even the same thing, but the density of one apple versus the density of one cup of apple juice are quite a bit different. So aim for high volume. The other thing, high satiety. Eat the foods that fill you up. Eat things that make your hunger response kind of express itself in a normal way. Don't eat things that you can't stop eating. Aim for things that keep you full. Again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Just to wrap it up quickly, remember, pre-prep your protein and veggies, keep water on hand, try to minimize processed foods, and always aim for high volume, high satiety when putting meals together. Don't want you to undereat, but you do need to be in a calorie deficit. That is paramount here, okay? And lastly, please grab some of our free fat loss resources. I'd love you guys to get your hands on them and continue to extend the dialogue from this video to help you with your fat loss goals. Again, link in the description below to grab those free guides. Thanks again so much for tuning into Mind Pump TV and good luck.